Hello, today I'm going to be talking about will affiliate marketing die and what is the future of this business, okay? Now, if you look at the growth of e-commerce from 2000 to 2019, all right, you'll see a steady growth, all right? 1% of retail sales were done online in the year 2000 to around 16% in the year 2019, a big jump and it's continuing to rise and go up, all right? Now with all these companies looking to move um, their products online and sell things, they need people to promote their stuff, okay? This means that affiliate marketing will probably always be around. It'll be around for the, into the future. Now having said that, the way people do affiliate marketing will change, okay? And will continue to change and evolve, and I'll give you a couple examples of this, all right? If you look at trends, look at history. 10 years ago, I got started in affiliate marketing. That was a long time ago. And I used to work with a group of people, because I was open-minded to check it out, and we would write articles, and at the very bottom of the article, we'd put an affiliate link in there, right? We made some money, okay, and that did work. Um, obviously, this method doesn't work very well nowadays, okay? It just doesn't, things have changed online. Um, next up came these black hat SEO tactics, right? Um, this was there, there was a way to spin articles. There was blog networks. There was these backlinks that you could just shove into content and they would rank up in you know search engines and you can get a ton of traffic, okay? That worked. Uh, now it doesn't work, it changed. And another example um, is many years ago, Amazon affiliate program wasn't a bad way to make money. You could write reviews on a product. Um, they paid on a scale, so the more products you moved, the more money you made. It wasn't a lot, but you could still make some. Now, that's changed, okay? And it's more of a fixed rate. Some products you don't receive any affiliate commission off of it. So things have evolved in that sphere as well, and it's changed. It's not as good as it, the ones used, it used to be, okay? So what is the future of affiliate marketing going forward? Okay, this is the million dollar question. Now I'm gonna share my idea, and if you disagree or if you agree, agree, you know, leave a comment too. The future of affiliate marketing could be to partner up with other people, okay? And here's what I mean by that. If you look at trends and say like in retail, there's these small mom and pop stores, then what happened? When you drive into downtown, what do you see? You see franchises. People are partnering up, they're buying into existing systems that already work. Why? Why do they do that? Because it's so much easier. It's the same thing online. You can actually buy into somebody else's system or join a group and it's like a franchise um, where they can help you out a lot more, okay? So franchises, my prediction, will dominate the affiliate marketing landscape going into the future, okay? Because uh, it's so much easier. So what do you think, huh? Do you disagree, disagree, or, or agree, or disagree? Let me know. Next up, I want to talk about the elephant in the room. What is that? Yeah, the giant companies that control the internet. You know, you know what I'm talking about. I don't have the name drop, right? Uh, the big powerful companies uh, that control, they have so much power. So what do you think is going to happen in the future? This is my prediction, okay, just mine, is some regulation is going to happen to rein in the power that they do have, okay? And I'll give you some examples of some trends. Do you remember a, a while back ago, there was a, a communications company um, in the phone industry that owned everything, right? I think it was AT&T, right? Super powerful, and what happened? Yeah, they're like, well, we need competition, so they deregulated that, and that allowed all these other companies and startups to grab a piece of that pie, right, for competition, and I actually got involved in a startup, and it made a lot of people some really good money. So that is my prediction going forward with these big giant companies, is some something's gonna happen to encourage competition. Uh, what do you think? Am I wrong? Do you disagree? Agree? Let me know in the comments below. All right. So as always, the future really of affiliate marketing will always be building relationships with somebody and list building, okay? If you have a, a good list, a solid sales funnel, okay, 
you're not as, as reliant on these giants to control the internet, okay? You're not as dependent on them for traffic, begging, please, please, give me some traffic, please. No, because you, you own your list. You, you have more power and control. You take it away from them. And so that's always going to be the core of affiliate marketing. It's, a, it's an important thing that you got to learn more about, get better at, and you'll make some really good money, okay? All right. Now, I recently read an article on the future trends of affiliate marketing. And going forward, a lot of people say um, that push notifications will continue to be a, a big thing, okay? So you might be thinking, what the heck is a push notification? Well, they're very similar to text messages. The good thing is that text messages um, can be costly depending on someone's phone plan and their mobile device, all right? Push notifications are unlimited and free and you can opt in and opt out of it, okay? So it's kind of a cool thing to check out and learn more about, okay? So regardless, like I mentioned, lead generation is still the key to the business going forward. Email marketing is still a big player, um, which is it's good to have, okay? Now the last thing I want to talk about is chatbots. Yeah, chatbots. Basically, as you can probably guess, it's a bot that you can chat with, all right? Now, here's my thought process on this, okay? And you can agree or you can disagree, but when you call up a company and you talk to a robot, do you enjoy talking to that robot? You go, huh, push one to nine, one to three. No, what I do is I go with zero. I want to talk to a person. I want to talk to somebody. <laughs> so I hate bots. I hate chat bots. I hate all that kind of crap, all right? so. If affiliate marketing is really based off of trust, relationships, I'm just a little skeptical that a robot is gonna be super, super helpful. And I'm just, I'm pretty skeptical of it, okay? Am I wrong? Have you used chatbots? Are they good? Are they bad? Let me know in the comment below. But me, I manually talk to people, you know, especially on Facebook and Messenger, uh, rather than using like a robot. It just, something comes across wrong that, hey, I'm so busy, I have to, I can't talk to you. I need a, a robot to, to talk to you because you're not that important to me. It's just, something's off with that. I don't get it. Um, but that just, I think it could backfire. It's my thoughts. Now, I've been doing affiliate marketing for many years, okay? And there's one person uh, that I really do feel is the best of the best um, that I've seen. Now, regardless of your... Your level okay if you're brand new or maybe you've been doing it for 10 years um, you can learn some tips that can improve your game put more money in your pocket work less hours and that's what we're all about right so to discover who this person is and why I really recommend you check them out and learn some things from home just click on that link below or go to my website at trustthelink.com you could trust the link, okay? <laughs> I love that name. So I hope you benefited from this, benefited from this video. You maybe got something out of it that can help you. Um, if you did, please hit the thumbs up button. Uh, leave a comment or something you agree or disagree with. Let me know. And I do wish you the best, okay? Have a very fun and awesome rest of your day. Take care and bye.